There we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Rune Defender. That didn't actually take too long to get, and while I was here nabbing every single one of the topside defenders, I did manage to nab 10 hard clue scroll boxes at the same time, which is absolute madness. I'm going to try to do some of those after I get my Dragon Defender. So far, I still have plenty of tokens. I'm, uh, I'm freaking gaming. Hold on, I haven't equipped any of these. Are any of these a task? Adamant? Just Rune? Not even Rune? Not much longer after I came back here, we got the Dragon Defender. Now, here is the... Surely! Surely equipping the Dragon Defender has got to be a task since none of the other ones were. And it is. Okay, a hard task. 80 points, but, you know, it's a nice equipment upgrade as well. And it didn't take that long, really, at all. And there's a quick task for completing a farming contract. I should have started these a long time ago, but here we are, getting them done now. Wow, a medium task for filling a bucket with super compost. I've been utilizing some AFK time at the farming guild, just pickpocketing this master farmer for like two hours, and I got a pretty good haul of seeds. Remember, I have 99 thieving plus the trickster relics, so it's been pretty insane for early starting seeds. Didn't obviously get anything too major for like later on, but I mean, we got... 14 Ranars, 3 Snapdragons, a couple of other tree seeds, a Redwood seed. Okay, I got a Frog random and I'm so glad I actually stopped to do it because apparently equipping the Frog Mask is a medium task. That is one that is very specific because you can also choose the outfit and I don't think you'd get the task. So there's the task for making an attack potion, trying to get a little herb lore up so I can make Ranars, make prayer potions now that I've got so many seeds and herbs, so I'm trying to do a little bit of training. I gotta say, these guys are really made easy with the Brawler's Resolve Relic because all you have to do is pray Mage, and since you're immune to poison, they basically can't hurt you whatsoever. I mean, this guy is way stronger than me, but we just murdered him like it was nothing, and there is a hard casket. I'm gonna just do clue scrolls kind of all throughout the video just to break up some bits here and there. I don't want to do them all at once because I've got a bunch of them. I've got three beginners to start us off with, so let's just kind of go rapid fire here. If I get anything new or exciting, that's all I'm looking for. And we got a bunch of garbage in those three. Okay, now three hards. This has got to be good. We have nothing from a hard. This is our first hard casket. I'm excited to see how many loot rolls we get. Here we go. What the f- what the f- We did complete two medium tasks, one for completing a hard clue, the other task for gaining a unique item from a hard clue. So I guess that unique item was purple sweets or the magic longbow? I don't know exactly what the unique was, but... Oh, and I just noticed we got our hard casket back from the casket we just opened, so it was basically like we just got one for free. That's why I freaking love this relic, man. Here we go, again. Oh, an enchanted hat, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, and black dragon eye chaps. Ooh, gold rune kite shield. Man, I love the way that looks. I love the way that looks. And here's our final hard casket. We get, hey, wow, we got two medium tasks, one for gaining five unique items from hard clues, and then another for filling three hard clue collection slots. That is an insane casket. Blue dragon eye chaps G, Guthix chaps. I also got one more for equipping a full rune set. Now that I got the full rune helm from that uh, hard casket, that's the only thing I was missing. So there's one more medium task. We'll start with the five beginners. I'm mainly just looking for another unique. I don't know what we are missing, to be honest with you. Okay, that's new. Ooh, that's new, but I need to pick up some stuff from the ground here. Ooh. More mole slippers. Do I have so many of those? Nothing new, nothing new. And nothing new. Okay, there's the last beginner. So we got at least one. We've done 40 beginner treasure trails. Now maybe I'll get something fresh with the one easy casket. Hey, the black trim is looking pretty sweet. Uh, oh, and there is a new hard task. 50 collection log slots. That feels really good. Okay, we've got one medium. Oh, no ranger boots, but there's another league task for gaining 25 unique items from a medium. That's another hard task. Holy cow. Two hard caskets. Here we go. Come on, something good. Black dragon hides, not bad. Ooh, an ancient plate body. That's technically better than my rune plate body because it gives prayer bonus. Ooh, don't mind if I do. And it matches my thieving cape. Poggers, fashion scape. Last hard casket, come on. Whoa, a gothic plate body. What is that? Hunk nunchuku? 
Nunchuku. Sorry, is that is that offensive? I'm sorry. Almost missed a task for checking my first fruit tree, trying to get my farming up so we can actually get some decent herb. Also, do you like my ranging gear? Do you think that that's sick? Do you think that that's pretty cool? We're looking pretty sweet right now. That's one of my favorite things about the leagues is just how awesome your characters end up looking because you just go with whatever gear you have. Oh, okay. Sorry, I don't know why I got so saucy on that one. There is a medium task for obtaining a clue geode. Okay, sorry, one other thing I noticed with that medium task is that we have now, finally, obtained iron ranking. So that's only, like, it seems way more impressive in the previous leagues. And there's another one that I was not planning on getting, but harvesting any herb at the troll stronghold. Another medium task, I'm just doing a farm run, brother. Entering the mid-level farming guild area is also a task. Ah, frick, I freaking missed the dude. I didn't know it was going to be a task. I was making potions, trying to get my herb lore up, and I got a task for creating a compost. Potion. Just kidding, by the way. I know it's Herblore. It's it's Herblore, by the way. I want to do Knight's Sword. That's a good quest for some smithing XP. And as of right now, minus one. For easy task for smelting a bronze bar. And there is a medium task for reaching a total level of 1250. There is an easy task for smelting an iron bar. Giving Thurgo a red berry pie was actually an easy task. With that quest, we have gained 152,000 smithing XP. There was a medium trailblazer task for completing 10 combat achievements. And there is the first of many reach based level five. Oh, there, there it is again. These are gonna be rapid fire, I believe. That was a easy task for reaching base level 10. Dude, I'm telling you, the passive construction XP you get from Winter Todd is so good. Probably be the last one for right now, but that is reaching base level 20. Okay, another unsuspecting task. Make 30 prayer potions, that was a medium task. Oh, I just missed it, but I did my first Tears of Guthix run, and admittedly, it was a little bit late. I should have done this yesterday. But I got two medium tasks, one for drinking from the Tears of Guthix, and for reaching a base level of 30. That brought my Hunter up from 25 to 34. So, you can only do this a couple of times during the league, obviously, since you can only do it once a week. But it is pretty beneficial. It's pretty freaking good. So now that I've got Esgarnia unlocked, thought about doing a bit of pest control, and there was a task for completing a novice game. That was, wow, how many 15 zeal points? Holy cow. Now remember, I have the tier 4 relic, the tier 5 relic. So I have 5 times boosted minigame points, so I'm getting a pretty decent amount. Now I can actually do the intermediate boat, but there was just a task for doing a novice one, so I thought, might as well knock it out of the way first. Now let's do a couple intermediate games. I don't know what I'm going to spend my points on, but I'm going to do pest control because, well, to be frank, it's kind of the meta. Oh, sit rat. And then there's a game of intermediate pest control, another medium task. We are sitting currently at 2400 15 void night points now believe it or not I've actually already spent about three or four hundred of those to get my prayer and my range just kind of caught back up So here's just a quick look at the stats right now 71 range 71 prayer most of that's been trained by my void night points Now I need to not spend them all on experience because there is a task for unlocking full void We'll start with the range since I have very little range gear I think this would be the best choice to make right now. So we'll go ahead and do this one first. I, I might end up buying all three of them. That way I can actually switch between all three of the attack styles. But I probably don't need the melee helm, especially considering I have the melee relic. So Void Ranger helm confirm. Now then, if I go over here, let's get out of the way of everyone. If I put the helmet on, the top, and the robe, no task. But if I put the gloves on... That gives us a task. If you're following along with my math, fellow gamers, that leaves me with 1,500 points remaining. Let's do one more in prayer. Give me another 237,000 prayer XP bonus. I am going to go ahead and purchase the Void Mage Helm as well. That way I've got the two main switches. I don't think I need the Void Melee Helmet right now. I can't get like Elite Void because I can't complete the Western Province's Diary, especially since I don't have Zolra unlocked right now at least. Potentially I could in the future. Uh, if I end up making that my final area, but I haven't quite decided yet. Now, I don't think you need the mace or the seal for anything, so I'm not going to bother with those. I'm going to put one more in prayer, just to put me at a nice even 80. And then I'm going to put one more in magic, because it's very, very close. 300, holy, 400,000 XP drop. Just to make it nice and easy, we'll go ahead and do one more thing of hit points, because it gives the most XP. That should boost me up to 100 combat, correct? 84 hit points. And 100 combat level, which was a hard task. I haven't even used a prayer potion yet. Haven't even done much combat yet. So having 84 prayer, having these stats to start off with, it's going to be pretty great. 
All right, now I believe that should be two tasks, one for completing a game of veteran pest control, and then I believe another for keeping the veteran void knight above 150 hit points. That was two very easy, hard tasks to accomplish, a very quick and easy 160 points. And that's an extra bonus, five void knight points for doing the veteran boat. All right, and plus I forget you get a little bit of GP with doing this activity as well. I got a couple hundred K almost just from doing this activity, which is freaking nice. Now, unfortunately, that does pretty much tap out all of the potential that I had left with pest control. We still have plenty of clue scrolls to do, so that's probably what we will move on to to finish up. Enter the Taiba one I Hardwood Grove was a medium task. I was in the middle of doing a clue. Turns out, wow, they can get uh, forestry events in here. That's funny. There is a task for reaching a total level of 1,500, a hard task. Okay, nice, making progress. I'm still working on some of the clue scrolls, as you can see down there below, but I also think that this might be a task that I missed. And it is an easy one, but a task for eating some purple sweets. Got quite the collection down here. 11 beginners, 10 easies, one medium, three hearts, and an elite. I've got a couple more beginners. I've got like 30 more beginners in the bank and I just don't feel like doing them all right now. So I've got 11, I'm gonna just kind of spam through till I see either a pop-up or something that looks of any sort of importance. All of this has been absolute garbage. We got another scimitar kit. This is, this is embarrassing, honestly. I'm embarrassed, another mace, this, wow. Let's go on to our 10 easy caskets. Hopefully we get, oh, there's a, uh, there's a league task already. Gain 10 unique items from easy clues. What is that trim? That was a good start, let's keep going. Teleports, basically nothing. Ooh, a thievery mask, highwayman mask. Is that technically gilded? Is that technically gilded or no? Don't lie to me, Walt. I feel like that's gilded. I mean, oh, it looks pretty cool, dude. I think we got a couple of duplicates in there, or like a couple of repeat bonus casket, looks like it in the uh, chat box there. Okay, a little bucket helm action, a page. Basically useless to me since I can't really get the god book, since I don't have access to that area. An imp mask, that is definitely something strange there. Ooh, I thought that might have been something that was actually good. <laughs> it wasn't. Keep going. Ooh, we've got three easy caskets left. Let's go ahead and spam through the rest of these. Nothing on that one, uh, we'll some trim on that one, that might be a new collection log slot. And, okay, we keep getting duplicate caskets, I can't, I literally can't open all of these because I keep getting duplicate caskets. Holy cow, that's a great iron kite shield. Gee, though, we, what are those rope tops? Oh, baby, and just coming in right in clutch, filling 20 easy clue collection log slots was another hard task. Okay, that makes me feel good. How did I get a medium? Oh, one, one, one of them must have upgraded because I only had one uh, medium to begin with, but one of my easy caskets turned into a better casket. How can you not like this relic? That's so much green, but not any of it good. An adamant cane? Is that a unique, actually? That looks pretty cool. We got our medium back. Let's go. Uh, is that anything new, actually? I feel like I have all of that almost. That, none of that was new, but we did get a hard task for feeling 20 medium collection clue slots. That's a whole might. The points, brother. We've got one medium left still. Let's go. Oh, okay. Green. What is that? A master. Ooh, that could be our first master we complete. This is a crazy clue. We got another medium again. It never ends. Come on. Oh, another. I've got like three of those miters now, I think, actually. Holy cow. My inventory is going to be full again. Three hearts. Ooh, look at all that rune. That's a lot of alchemals. Somehow we still have three hearts left. There is, oh, Zamorak Blade Body. Oh, wow, and the Cavalier, and the Magic Short Bow. Now I don't have to make one. Hold on, if I equip that bad boy. Yes, that is a hard task, 80 pointer. Three more hard caskets still. Ooh, a blue dragon mask, and a another hard task. What is that for? Gaining 20 unique items from hearts. We have been getting crazy tasks. Come on. Boo. Oh, the, oh, the Guthics, Coif, and Bracers, which also gave us another hard task. What's that one? Okay, that's a hard task for 15 hard clue collection log slots. Man, that's a tongue twister. All right, man. Three caskets left. We've got two hards remaining. Come on. Oh, an ancient Coif. What is that? In a Crozier. A Zamorakian Crozier. Oh, and then there's another hard task for a hundred collection log slots. Damn, damn. Okay, next hard casket. 
another page. Nothing that I really care about, but we- Oh, my inventory's full again! Come on. Ooh, dragon boots ornament kit. I don't have dragon boots, but that's a sick kit to have. Last hard casket. And wow! Wow! <laughs> what? Wario mood? I'm in my Wario mood? What is that clue? A Zamorak and Armadillion coif and an Armadillion full helmet. That is mind boggling. Okay, one elite casket and then we're done. I don't want to fight the Mimic. I don't want to fight the Mimic right now. If you change your mind, speak to- yeah, whatever. Holy- okay, there is a- what is that, a medium task? For completing one elite clue. No, no, we got two tasks there. We got two. One medium task for completing the elite clue, and then a hard task for gaining a unique item from an elite clue. Holy. Equip that. Yeah! And equipping a rune crossbow. See, let's open our last elite cla- uh, Wait, how did I get another elite casket? Whoa, big pirate hat. Deer stalker. A dragon longsword and a U-seed? Opening the crystal chest was a medium task, so there we go. And we got, well, garbage as usual, but a dragon stone. Our first dragon stone on the account. I appreciate every single one of you. All of the likes, comments, the positive or negative. I really appreciate seeing all of your feedback. So thank you as always, everybody, for putting up with me and for watching my stuff. I will see you hopefully soon for another League's video in a couple of days. And maybe something in between if Jagex is a good boy. And they bless us with something. Sorry, don't know why I said that, but I said it. I said it, and you had to hear it.